What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the two fastest way to get Dragon Balls in Xenoverse 2. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the, um, the offline parallel quest thing. And then you're going you're gonna to click go to all and then click quest 4. This is the quest that you could like just get um, uh, Dragon Balls from. This is like one of the first ways I'm going to show you to get Dragon Ball. It doesn't matter, you could choose anybody else, but I just want to make this um, video faster. So I chose my freezer race. So I could just choose, um, well not to choose, but spin Emperor Death Beam and just get it over with. Cause like the certain boss you gotta fight and it just takes too long, so. Really think you can match my just do that. And any, you could choose any side character, it doesn't really matter. I did, I did random and these are who I got. So, so yeah, basically, just that. Yeah, so first thing first, you want to fight these bots, because these, these bots are really easy, so this shouldn't be as much like, time consuming as the next part might be. Yeah, this is really just an easy mission, it, it shouldn't be too hard. See, so I killed Krillin with like with two combos, and put him in two combos. So yeah, this should be pretty easy to, to, to like, keep on doing the mission and farm all seven Dragon Balls. But the most important part with with this mission is you want to like okay don't go to the, the portal thing yet so you want to look around the map right and you want to make sure that you see these um npc characters like the yeah the npc characters you want to go to them and then you want to you want to talk to them and then you're just going to say yes accept the challenge and it's basically you just try and get them you know or whatever. You just gotta, you gotta um, kill all of them, basically. I think, I think once you kill, like, well, certain ones, when you kill them, they give you, they say key item. But yeah, when, when, they, when, they, when they say key item, I'll show, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the video. But when they say key item, that's the dragon ball that you're about to get. So you just gotta hurry up and change this guy, and um, we might get the key item off this, but I'm not sure, but we might. But if not, just gotta kill that other one. And, Hopefully one of them drops it. I'm pretty sure we should get a key item off this guy. Alright. Alright. No, that's... Okay, that's a material item. No, that's not what we want. Um, key item. Okay, key item. That's the Dragon Ball thing. That, that indicates that you, you got the Dragon Ball from the mission. So basically, all you want to do is finish the other bots. Alright, so now when you're done with all that, you want to go to the portal. When you're done fighting all the bots, you want to go to the portal. It isn't too long. It's not... Like I said, it's not too much time consuming. And it's, I'd say it's like a good estimate of like three to five minutes long this mission. But yeah, basically once you spawn here, you're gonna fight, go on, finish him off, and then Piccolo should come and try and do that. Fight Pic uh first, yeah, keep skip on, and then kill Piccolo. Yeah, these are like pretty much low level bots, and this shouldn't be really taking long, like I said. And then all you gotta do is fight um, Goku finish it off so and all you gotta do is just go to goku and then the mission should be over somehow piccolo still wants to fight so just gotta beat him up real quick and then just go to um goku after it's pretty, pretty easy but yeah you can pretty much do this at like any level really because the bots are already low goku himself might be a little too high if you're like a low level but yeah, it should be easy and that's when you, until you complete the mission, and yeah, and it should show you that we got a Dragon Ball. Uh, one, we got the one-star Dragon Ball. I think I have all seven Dragon Balls, but um, I think I do. I'm not too. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think I have like all seven Dragon Balls. I'm gonna see. But if so, I'm still gonna show you the other way. Another way, maybe. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't wanna do this way. You wanna do a different way, but yeah, I'm gonna show you another way to get Dragon Balls. Yeah, it said you have collected all seven Dragon Balls. So, I'm still gonna show you guys the other way to get it. But, um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna collect any more Dragon Balls until I summon Shinron. I'm gonna just wait to summon Shinron until I feel like I need to. All right, to check your Dragon Balls, go to the menu and then go to back and then go to your items list. And just click R1 until you see important items. And this is how you could tell like how much Dragon Balls you have. It says like held one for each of the Dragon Balls. So for the next step, you wanna go back to the start screen. What I do 
do is create a new um a new cac and basically just choose any race you really want it doesn't matter there's no specific race to do but there's um other way of getting it choose a race and just make it any race you really want i just chose majin because i don't have like a, a male majin character so i was like yeah just i'm not even gonna save it but i'm just gonna put it as um what do i want to name uh just name it two two my parents don't really matter so I'll just choose choose any color you really want i'll just go black just because i think that's a cool color for imagine just go all black make him look evil and um fighting style doesn't even matter so you could probably just choose one of those and just choose any one of those three and just go on basically it's gonna it's gonna send you to the, the basically the prologue of the game and the way it's gonna be starting you up as a prologue and where the margin or whatever character you choose start up from like the background of your character so basically just skip this part where it's really really even just skip this it's gonna be skip you're gonna be skipping a lot of cutscenes because it is the prologue that's how Basically, since you made a new character, it's gonna be like re like start showing you how to play the game and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of like kind of takes longer. This this part kind of takes a little longer than the first part, but it, it's like you know it's also it's an automatic Dragon Ball, really. So skip this part. So once you load in, basically, you just want to like talk. To this it's just gonna give you a tutorial about everything in the universe so far. But the basic, all oh, basically the basics. It's gonna tell you to go to the map, and you have to talk to these characters that are on the map. It's, it's just it's not a, not long conversation. It's like it's fast conversations. So skip skip through it. Go to Shirakari near the clothing store. Skip through it. Same thing. Just skip through it. And then you go, to, I think you have to go to this, yeah, you have to go to this person near the, 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 the time patrol thing. And yeah, I think it'd be cool to go to kill. Howdy. Yep. I have to show me about the stairs. You basically want to talk to um, Elder Kai. Skip through the conversation with Elder Kai. Skip through this conversation. You know, these conversations are like, they're kind of long. But it's worth the trust. Talk to Elder Kai, not to Supreme Kai. Talk to Elder Kai first. And he's going to send you out with a time patrol um, mission. And the mission is really easy. So, it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's easy enough to where you can, as a level one, you can handle it. First mission where you're fighting Raditz. So yeah, this isn't really too hard, so I'm, I'm just I'm just uh, speed it up for time purposes. But yeah, oh, he, this, he's not hard. He's not hard to fight. You, sh you should be able to do fine.
too loaded. You can just skip the conversation with Supreme Kai time. You just okay. So what you gonna do? You gonna go to the school? You make sure you go to the school, and then there should be this um this NPC that you um, fight for a Dragon Ball. Oh, she's like right here. Sand Sandu, I think that's her name. Sandu, go over her, go over to her. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna just speed this up. But yeah, she's like a low level too, so you could probably fight her. So yeah, it's not nothing crazy. That's it. But it's not it's, it's not gonna give me a Dragon Ball because I have all seven, yeah. I thought it's gonna give me a Hercule badge or whatever. But yeah. That's what, that's like these like basically the two ways, two fastest ways to get um Dragon Balls, all seven Dragon Balls. But I do recommend the first the first one though, because the second one does take a lot of time compared to the first one. So I do recommend the first one. But thank you for watching the video and um, please leave a like and thumbs up and subscribe.